Has anyone ever been to a wedding that didn't end with the couple getting married? If so, what happened? How did the guests react? Last wedding I went to the groom was doing oxys with his friend in the back room right before the ceremony. He could barely walk down the aisle and he passed out before they could get through their vows. The bride and her mom left crying. They actually got married for real like 2 weeks later and now have a 2 year old. Oh if my husband was doing drugs right before the ceremony I probably would take that as a red flag and not marry him. It's embarrassing for the families and guests, and the ceremony is the serious part. Not exactly, but I did know a couple who, the night before their city hall wedding, both had separate big parties and got so wasted they both slept through the wedding. They didn't realize it until city hall called asking where they were, and they decided frick it we'll do it later. They did eventually get married, and still are as far as I know, over 20 years later. Sounds like they were made for each other. The groom ran away in the morning of his wedding day. He contacted his family after two days and told them he's in another country and doesn't want to get married yet. His family pressured him into marrying a woman who he'd only known for two weeks. The bride was very upset but she and her family understood the situation and moved on. Sounds like they were Indian. Yeah one of my distant relatives. The groom got really drunk and hit his fiance in the face in front of everyone. I was young and didn't really get what was going on. I just remember my uncle laying the groom out with one punch. A drunken punch up at a wedding. Had a friend who called off the wedding that morning but still held the reception that evening. Apparently, the bride's family did not approve so they didn't go through with it. Only the people who were invited to the small ceremony knew so many people at the reception didn't. Guests were congratulating them and bride and groom just pretended that they were married. They ended up getting married 4 months later in secret. Needless to say the reception was awkward for those that knew. My friend was getting married, and the man she was marrying had a heart attack literally right before the ceremony, after everyone had arrived. Of course everyone was shocked, but they got married shortly after at the registry office, so it was still a happy ending, I guess. Well thank god he survived. They managed to get married but then she hopped in a car with some random dude. I was confused, asked my buddy what was going on. He explained that dude was driving her down to the honeymoon spot because she didn't like the way he, her husband of 3 minutes, drove. Two days later I found out that once my friend made it to the cabin for their honeymoon he walked in on them in the shower together. She then revealed that she only married him so her parents would get off her back. That she hated him and was shacking up with this guy the whole week instead. They'd tell everyone it wasn't working out once they got back in town and annul. My friend was obviously devastated by this and has never recovered. That's the definition of a C. My boyfriend was friends with a guy who was due to get married in another country. So about 50 people had booked flights and accommodation. The night before the flight, they call off the wedding but insist everyone go anyway as most people had used their vacation time for it. The bride and groom got really drunk on the flight which apparently was incredibly weird for everyone and spent their wedding night having dinner instead. They've been on and off ever since but never tied the knot. Apparently everyone had a good vacation anyway. My older brother got married to his girlfriend of 10 years. At the end of the party when I and most of my brother's family had left it all kicked off. Turns out she and my brother's best friend planned for 3 years for the marriage to happen so she could divorce him and take the house and live in it with a guy she'd been banging behind my brother's back. Little did she know that the house was in my dad's name and not my brother's. They have the exact same name. She was entitled to nothing. Last I heard her family abandoned her and so did her boyfriend after she put on lots of weight. I'm just done reading here. I'm not going to get any more satisfied than right now. My brother had a very close call. During the do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband part, my sill just stood there, wordless, for like 3 minutes. Total deer in the headlights stare. The minister put his hand on her shoulder and whispered something into her ear. Then she left and went into the worry room for a while. The minister asked her mom to go join her and told everyone to please be patient. Just a case of the jitters, etc. My brother looked like he had been hit over the head with a sledgehammer. He sat down in the choir, put his head between his knees, and tried not to pass out. Nearly half an hour later men I'll just go check on how things are going announcements from the minister. 
The mom and my sil came back out. The ceremony started over from the beginning. With the bride reprising her walk down the aisle and everything. She sobbed hysterically through almost the entire ceremony. But they got through it. We found out later that a close family friend's husband had passed away after a long bout with cancer that morning, leaving behind a widow in her early 40s. It hit my sill really hard because the neighbor had been nearly her second mother to her, and between her grief at the husband passing away and the realization that marriage is a guarantee that someone will lose the love of his her life, my sill pretty much lost it. They're still married, three kids, dog, house and the burbs the works but it was touch and go there for half an hour or so. It's very sweet actually. She loved him so much that she realized that him passing away would break her heart so much. Same as a lot of others here, this is only partially relevant. My dad was the best man for his best friend of many years. The couple got married, they had the reception, and then after the reception she left and never came back. Not one whole day of married life, he returned to the marital home alone. He's a great guy and he's been with a lovely woman for 30 years now although they've never married. I've always wondered, but never asked, if it's because he's still married to the first woman, or if the idea of going through a wedding again is just too painful for him. This happened around 20 years ago. I am Indian and was supposed to get married to a guy who was a close family friend. That guy was nice and all, but on the wedding day, he ran with my sister. Yes you guys read it right. He ran away with my younger sister, so my entire family was very upset and claimed his younger brother as compensation. I got married to his younger brother. Marriage has turned out superb, like one of those dream marriages you see on TV. But yes the marriage was an accident. And your family got both brothers. Kind of a third party story. When I was going through the law school I used to process serve in the evenings, handing out summons and delivering divorce papers etc. Yeah yeah crappy job but that is another story. I usually never had time to read the complaints but I was having trouble finding the husband to serve the divorce papers on. He had deserted from the navy. So I hope that the papers might have some clue in them as to how I could find him. Turns out the complaint stated that. He left the wedding reception with one of the bridesmaids and at that point the wife determined that the marriage was over. Looks like he has quite a track record in deserting. This is quite the same, but similar enough. Back in the 80s my aunt had gotten married to this guy. At the reception she got blackout drunk and passed out, rendering her unable to consume at the marriage. Her groom on the other hand, slept with one of the bridesmaids that night. In the morning the bridesmaid had confessed the mistake. The happy couple immediately went to the courthouse and signed their divorce papers. Married and divorced in a span of 12 hours. I'm a wedding minister in Japan. I've overseen 500 plus weddings and there have been a few that I thought for sure weren't going happen after rehearsals. It's usually some arrogant or absent minded groom that seems oblivious to what is happening or it's the father not approving of his daughter's choice of crap head. Just a month ago during a rehearsal, I had to ask the parents for approval. It's like giving away the bride but both sides do it. I asked him and he had to get a stiff elbow from his wife before saying yes while looking at the floor. The groom. A complete idiot in my opinion. Didn't even notice. It was uncomfortable to say the least. During the actual ceremony the father answered much quicker, but still looked at the floor and then began to cry. This isn't my story, but it's all I've got. I was talking with a DJ who told me of a wedding he did. Gets all the way into the reception and it's time to cut the cake. The groom mashes the cake into the bride's face, and she is livid. She turns red, screams at him, and slaps him across the face so hard it sounds like a gunshot and it echoes across the reception hall. Everyone gasps and gets quiet. She storms off. A little while later, the father of the bride comes up to the DJ and hands him $500. He says, listen, this marriage is over. She's actually left the building, but I've paid for this party and all my family and friends are here. I want you to finish out the night and finish it strong. Keep the music playing and don't mention the two of them again for the rest of the night. He agrees and everyone has a grand old time. A study did show that if you mash the cake in your sauce face that you are more likely to get divorced. This happened in Kolkata, Kolkata and my dad was present. We live in Canada. The couple had been introduced to each other and after like 6 months of hanging out and getting to know each other they got engaged. 
They had known each other for almost a year up to this point. These are well off people who are upper income range so it's not the village or anything. Just to set the tone correctly, there had been events the day before the actual wedding ceremony, which about 500 plus people attended and of course people talk. Hence word got out. The evening of the wedding a group of people showed up and literally blocked the street so the groom couldn't come to the wedding venue. The groom had been banging, dating, a female of said blockade family under the promise of getting married, even introducing himself to her parents and family, planning a future date for his parents to meet hers. Mind you all, 500 plus, the guests had arrived and witnessed this. For about an hour there was a standoff and the information got back to the venue bride and her family and they called off the wedding. The guests were half in shock, half trying to eat and drink as much as they could before the inevitable cancellation happened. The bride's family actually took the matter to court, expenses of the wedding and such, and the guy dollar sign ettled out of court with them. As well they, the bride and her parents, personally went out and returned all the gifts they received. My dad didn't allow them to return the gifts he had given them and told her to keep them all, due to the circumstances. This is a great way to ruin an enemy's life, wait for their wedding, hire some actors, and blockade the affair with a screaming actor or actress to claim the groom bride loved them. I have a perfect example. I used to work with a girl named Ashley. She worked in my office a couple desks down. She was engaged to some guy I never met. He used to travel a lot for work or so I was told. We became pretty close friends and a couple of us were invited to the wedding. Ashley's co-workers threw her a party for her wedding the weekend before. I went and had a great time. I had no idea the following would happen. A couple days before the wedding. While at work I heard some co-workers talking loudly that they had been something terrible. I went over to hear what was going on and I found out Ashley had called off the wedding. Family and friends from Utah had already flown in to see the wedding. Come to find out, the fiancé was actually a piece of crap low life. He had no job and was stealing from her. She decided not to go through with it. So three months after the cancelled wedding, Ashley and I started dating. She told me later she had doubts about the marriage and had feelings for me, which I didn't know I had them as well until after the ordeal. We have been married for 5 years now and have a son together. When people ask how we met, we leave that story out. You can change her name and the story all you want, Jim, but we know Roy really worked in the warehouse and you'd met him before. I've told this story elsewhere on Reddit, but what the heck, was taken to a wedding by a then girlfriend. Knew no one there, was sort of just dumped with the groom and his wedding party as my girlfriend was a bridesmaid. The groom and his buddies proceeded to get drunk and just bail. Not telling anyone, just leaving. So here I am, not KOing anyone, and the only person who knows this crap ain't happening today. I had to go to the room the bride was getting ready in, knock, ask for my girlfriend and explain to her, but she and I pretty much just had to break the news. We broke up since and I had no reason to keep in contact with bride or groom, so no idea on any follow up. Well that must have been the most uncomfortable thing ever. At least you did the right thing though instead of making the bride find out for herself in the most devastating way possible. Oh boy, I had a buddy of mine who I don't really talk to anymore, but we aren't on bad terms, just kinda drifted apart due to life. I was deployed at the time to Afghanistan. So I obviously wasn't able to make his wedding. I seriously wish I did though, because what happened is freaking nuts. So him and his girlfriend were dating for like 5 years, and were going to get married. Everyone approved of this woman too. Educated, smart and good looking. Seemed like a catch. Day of his wedding I guess he left his cell phone in his jacket in some room where the wedding was going to happen. Normally for an event like this he'd be the first to turn it off and leave it somewhere but I guess he needed to call his cousin who was late and in the wedding. Turns out he found the bride to be blowing some friend of a bridesmaid in that room. They probably assumed it wouldn't be in use. He isn't the type to confront someone. Usually just turn red about to erupt and leave. Poor guy just left with his blood boiling. On his way out yelled that she was dong gagging s through the door of the room where everyone was waiting and the room fell silent. We have mutual friends who told the story but I believe it. I guess my buddy, the groom, 
put all her crap in boxes inside the garage and forbid her from coming in the home or ever going back there again. They lived together but everything was in his name. Smart guy. So while he'd probably still get in legal trouble she was decent enough to drop it all and take her crap and leave. She apparently tried to explain it and apologize but obviously he doesn't forgive nor forget. He was really destroyed by that. Kind of hard to explain or apologize blowing some other guy on your wedding day. I worked a wedding where the couple broke up during the reception. The party was on the roof of the building, and there was a small pool. The groom got drunk and thought it would be funny to push the bride, in her full wedding gown, into the water. It was still pretty early in the reception. She stormed out and was taken home by a friend. Yes, mine. We went to the states for our wedding. All went well and the day after the ceremony we went downtown to the government office to get all the official paperwork. The woman helping us didn't know quite how to process our Canadian IDs etc. So we ended up dealing with the department honcho. Filled everything out. Signed on all the lines. Gave them our address and flew home a couple days later. We waited for a month or so to receive our paperwork in the mail but it never came. I called the government office and got the run around for 20 minutes before finally being told they had no record of mine or my husband's name, our identification or our paperwork. When I asked what I could do from a different country they had no ideas. We are going to get married again I suppose, but I really didn't want to get married in this city. It's weird, I never saw myself getting married, and now that I am, I'm not. Hey I can actually contribute. This is an actual story that actually took place a few years ago. A guy I know, not my friend, my brother's friend, married a girl from our hometown. The girl graduated the year after me and the guy graduated 3 years before me. I knew her. I rode the bus to school with her in elementary school. Anyway, the wedding goes well enough. Everyone is happy. Then comes the reception. Everything goes fine everyone is happy. Then everyone goes to the after party at this bar. The bride and groom are drinking away until the groom is ready to call it for the night. The bride refuses to leave the bar and is getting unusually cozy with a scrunchy looking much older bartender. Groom is drunk and pee and leaves. Turns out she went home with the bartender and fricked him. Then it comes out that she's been fricking him for months. She's 21. He's 38. Obvious divorce. The next day the groom gets all fricked up and goes back to the bar with a baseball bat. He starts calling the guy out, the cops show up, he tells them what happened. The cops were sympathetic, they told him they couldn't let him kick his butt, even though they wish they could. They drive him home, and they don't charge him with anything. The mother of the bride sided with the daughter and the father of the bride sided with the groom. A month later the bride's parents filed for divorce after 25 years of marriage over the incident. It rocked the whole town. She was this very pretty girl, who cheated on a nice looking, good guy with this dingy 38 year old bar slob on her wedding night. She skipped town, I haven't seen her around since then. <laughs> Happened, all in and around my hometown. 1. One of my friend's father had a stroke. As that friend was getting married wedding happened, father remained paralyzed for 5 years before he died. 2. The groom's people and the bride's people, perhaps both groups were drunk, had a long fist fight. Wedding happened. Groom was an engineer, bride a college teacher. 3. The guy sitting in front of the groom in his car, and a girl, groom's niece's friend, both of them veterinary doctors, were shot and killed by the army, due to wrong identification. The guy, who was killed, was thought to be an insurgent leader. Full stop. Wedding happened. Did not happen. Next door neighbor. The reception was going on, but the groom did not turn up. Apparently, he wanted a bicycle or something as dowry. Both sides were poor people. Happened. Same neighbor. Wedding happened a month later. After his demand was made met. Or maybe a promise was made. Groom's mother spilt something on the bride's dress. Bride flips out and cusses out the mother-in-law. Groom is in a state of shock. Demands an apology. Wife-to-be refuses. He walks out. Guests try to talk to the bride and groom. But they weren't having any of it. A friend of mine asked me to go to her cousin's wedding as her date. Her cousin was the bride-to-be. The ceremony seemed to go well. Except the groom fidgeting, looking about, and wearing an almost hostile expression on his face. Seemed odd, but I assumed it was nerves. 
he and the bride said their vows, standard protestant christian stuff, but they added a stomping of a glass, at the end, for some reason. Once the priest got to the I pronounce you, the groom didn't wait for the kiss the bride part, grabbed the bride and rather abruptly turned her and himself around to face the audience. He then started yelling at the people on her side of the aisle, that she was his now and they should give up any thought of ever seeing her again. The bride attempted to protest, or calm him down, not certain which, but when she tried to say something, he backhanded her hard enough to knock her off of the dyers. This all happened in a few seconds and everyone in the audience was stunned. Just as we started to react, the priest proceeded to land a solid punch on the groom's face, flattening his nose with a notable crunch. The groom kinda crumpled. People in the audience were yelling at each other, trying to push, shove, help one person or another up. But in all of this the priest calmly reached over to the podium, took what I assume to be their marriage certificate, and tore it into tiny pieces. He then tried to calm things down, but the scene was chaos, and looked to be turning into a brawl. My friend and some others helped the bride to get out of there. I simply tried to keep anyone from running up on them, not knowing who was on which side, and cover their exit. Once outside, we got the bride into a car with her mum and my friend, so they could leave, and I made haste to my car. I learned, a few days later that the groom was arrested, breaking into the bride's house, using a shotgun as a lockpick and trashing her house looking for her. The marriage was not recorded by the official priest, so at least the bride didn't have to go through the trouble of getting a divorce. I declined wedding invites for some time after that. Good guy priest, though. I arrived at my friend's wedding a little late. I slowly opened the door, as I didn't want to be that guy that bust through the door during the does anyone feel these two portion of the wedding to people arguing. The groom was getting yelled at by someone who I later found out was the brother of the groom. The priest was trying to calm them down and one of the fathers got involved and suddenly the brother of the groom throws a haymaker and knocks the priest out. Then a fury of fists, kicking and the words frick you but all were heard as the brother, groom, father and like three other dudes just dove onto each other. Best part is the fight was over the color of the brother of the groom's shirt. It wasn't white like everyone else's. It was a light blue and it was upsetting the groom. That had upset me, too. Like, get with the program, dude. Someone I know has a wedding photo of her bridal party, and this one butthole is wearing jeans. Freaking denim jeans. Damn it, I'm late to the game but I have an awesome one for this so screw it. So I know a guy who bakes wedding cakes as a side business. One time he gets a call from a woman he kind of knows and she asks him can he make a cake for her wedding that coming weekend. He obliges. The bride orders a cake with the bride and groom on top, but with another woman, pregnant, sitting off to the side. She was very specific about the color of the pregnant woman's hair etc. The wedding goes ahead. The reception goes ahead. Then they bring out the cake. Everyone gathers round. People start to notice there are three figurines on the cake. The bride calls for attention, points to the cake, says there's me, there's groom. And this one here is the W he knocked up 6 months ago. Bride walks out. Freaking craziest thing I've ever heard. The lengths people go to for drama. Last thing the baker heard the couple were still married. That's freaking hilarious. I'm so glad I came here. Yes. It was my own wedding. I was there waiting and my bride to be texted me letting me know that she wasn't feeling well and that she needed to go to the hospital. I got suspicious when I noticed that no one from her side of the family had shown up. Turns out they never sent out their half of the invitations and never bothered to tell me that there was no wedding. So there I was with my friends and family at a wedding that didn't actually exist. Almost sounds like you're joking that's such an inhumane thing to do to another person. That's horrible. Late to the show but I know a guy who was to get married to his longtime girlfriend in Vegas. Wife to be flies to Vegas. Friends fly to Vegas he goes to fly to Vegas and finds out the marijuana bust he had back in the 70s, some 20 years earlier, hadn't been expunged in the states so they turn him back at the border. Has to make a phone call to his girlfriend that he ain't coming and tells them to party up and they got hitched once they got back to Canada. I know a guy who had sex with some girl who was not his bride at the wedding reception. He and his wife were divorced 3 months later. Quality family and friends that didn't tell her about the reception screw. 
My wife forgot our marriage license at her mom's house. So, technically we weren't married until the Monday after the wedding. Does this count? My dad did the same. Parents got married for real outside a grocery store the next day. They like to celebrate their extra long anniversary each year. A friend of a friend's wedding ceremony about 10 years ago. We were waiting at the chapel, and it is kind of a tradition that the bride lets the groom wait a bit in front of the altar. A couple of minutes and people start making jokes like I guess she decided to dump you before it's too late, haha, <laughs> or maybe she's practicing the wedding kiss with the driver, haha, <laughs> not exactly classy, but all in good fun. Nobody really thought one of them would get cold feet. Another couple of minutes and people get nervous. Try to reach the bride and the guy who was driving her to the chapel on their cell phones. No answer at first. Then after a while a man answers the bride's cell phone. Identifies himself as police officer. The driver had lost control of the car. Gone off the road and down a slope. Bride and driver were seriously injured. Car was a cabriolet with the top down. And apparently it rolled over two or three times as it went down the slope. But alive. Now being flown to a hospital. As far as I was told the marriage was officiated later that day in the hospital with only the immediate family present. Another religious wedding ceremony would follow a couple of months later. Compared to some of the awful ones I've heard of, fatalities, this came off very well. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.